ChatGPT is an advanced natural language processing model that uses deep learning techniques to understand and generate human-like texts. In simple words, if we ask anything to ChatGPT, then it will provide us with an answer of our question and that generated text sound like it's coming from a human. Now let's discuss how we can integrate ChatGPT with Jupyter Notebook. So by using the OpenAI Python package, we can connect our Jupyter Notebook environment to the ChatGPT API. To get started with the ChatGPT API, first of all, you need an OpenAI account. If you don't have one, then you have to sign up in your OpenAI account. For this, you have to visit OpenAI website, which is www.openai.com. And here you have to log in or sign up to your account. Once you have created your account, navigate to the OpenAI dashboard. You can usually find dashboard or account link in the top right corner of the website. Click on it to access your dashboard. In the dashboard, you will find various sections and settings related to your OpenAI account. Look for the API keys or credentials section as this is where you can generate your API key. Click on the API keys or credentials section to expand it. Here you will have the option to create a new API key. Click on the create new key or generate key button to generate your API key. Once you have generated your API key, copy it. This key is essential for authenticating your request to the ChatGPT API. That's how we log into OpenAI, create an account and obtain your API key. Now let's move on to the next step, integrating the ChatGPT API with Jupyter Notebook. With the OpenAI Python package and a few lines of code, we can connect our Jupyter Notebook environment to the ChatGPT API. To integrate the ChatGPT API with Jupyter Notebook, we'll be using the OpenAI Python package. First, make sure that you have the package installed. You can do this by running pip install OpenAI in your Jupyter Notebook environment. Which code I am using here is stored in this API file. I have provided a link of this file in the description of this video. If you want to use this code, then you have to download this code and upload it. From here, we will open this file. And now we have our codes ready. Let me explain you this code for you. So here you have to replace this API key with your actual API key. And then we have a function which is get GPT response that takes the prompt and the optional max token parameter. This function will communicate with ChatGPT API and return the response based upon the given prompt. Next, we make the API response using completion create. Here our model is GPT 3.5 Turbo. And then message, max tokens and the temperature. Experimenting with the temperature can achieve different styles of response and at last our response. Now we will write our prompt. So first I will write what is chat GPT. Let's run this code. And here you can see it has written that chat GPT is a language model developed by OpenAI. It is based on the GPT-3 architecture which uses deep learning techniques to generate human-like text responses and so on. Now I will write my second prompt which is how to treat outliers in machine learning. If I run this code, here you can see that it has actually given me four ways to treat outliers which is removal, vincerization, transformation and binning. In the next prompt, I will write what is Game of Thrones. Let's run this code. And here you can see that the Game of Thrones is a popular fantasy television series based on the book series A Song of Ice and Fire by George Martin. So you can see that with the integration, we can use the power of ChatGPT within our Jupyter Notebook. So that's all in this video. See you in the next one. Thank you.